my dear old Swanee. I'd give the world to be among the folk in DIX. I even know my mammy's waiting for me, praying for me down by the Swanee. Good to Tootsie, goodbye. Good to Tootsie, don't cry. Than a big Carolina in a morning. Another would be sweeter than my sweetie when I meet her in a morning. Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me in Herald Square. Tell all the folks at 42nd Street that I. The sunshine's west I know where the sunshine's best I walk a million miles For one of your smiles My mommy Good evening, gentlemen. My brother Samuel and I have invited you all together to discuss the building of a new hospital. Now, we all know this will be a huge challenge, perhaps the greatest of our time. But I feel this is the right time. We need this hospital. Our Jewish doctors need a place to practice where they can care for all those in need, whatever their background. And we need this hospital to stand as a symbol of who we are. You are all here together because you are the leaders of our community. So who among you will join us Bronfmans on the organizing committee? When I look out over this room of 3,000 faces, I see one people. I see one community. A community that is growing and prospering. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is decision time. Can we do it? Should we even dare to believe that this hospital can be built? Well, I believe we can and we must. We have said an ambitious goal, one and a half million dollars. But then again, we are ambitious people. They have been calling this decade the Roaring Twenties, and they have been roaring, Build your hospital!
the history of civilizations and the history of peoples and countries and institutions are essentially the stories of people, what they accomplished and what they did. And the story of the Jewish general is a great example of this philosophy and this thinking. From the early pioneers who had the vision to buy the land, to the great leaders and doctors and medical staff who came to the institution to develop it in order to achieve medical excellence. This is our story, the story of the Jewish general. And today, as we go forward into the next 80 years, with Pavilion K and other innovations of equipment, of medical practices, we again are fortunate to have the great leadership both inside of hospital and the volunteers who do so much to make this a great institution. And our community and the people of Montreal can all be proud of what we accomplished and what we will accomplish going forward for many years to come. From the vision of our founders back in the 1930s, the Jewish General Hospital has become the crown jewel in the Quebec medical system. You have no idea what it was like not having this hospital here. The generation before mine felt that it was very important to have a Jewish institution in the medical field because there were limitations. It was built brick by brick by your parents, your grandparents. To this day, I can't get over what happened to the little hospital that we worked in. The history of the Jewish and the history of Jewish people is, to, is growth and constantly striving for the betterment of mankind. And I think that's still ingrained, and I think it's not only ingrained within the Jewish community, but certainly in the broader community. And there's just that determination to make this hospital, when you're involved working with, in it, you just want it to be the best. I feel so much pride that we've been able to accomplish so much. Just as I am sure the founding fathers of this hospital are looking down with pride on us today so we can all share the pride that we have built in Pavilion K. Truly the future of this institution for generations to come. Pavilion K is another innovation in the 80 year history of the hospital which has always pushed the envelope to ensure best practices and up-to-date equipment. There is no doubt in my mind that the hospital will continue to have a very bright future in this city. And all of you here today who participated in this effort are part of a glorious past and a glorious future. And we thank you and look forward to doing wonderful things together for the people of Montreal and Quebec. Good evening. My name is Tara Schwartz, and I'm happy to be with you tonight here at Pavilion K at the Jewish General Hospital. Tonight, donors, sponsors, and friends of the hospital are celebrating its 80th anniversary with the dedication of the Tree of Life, a milestone in the history of this extraordinary Montreal institution. Pavilion K, where tonight's celebrations are taking place, has yet to open its doors to the public, but it will do so in about a year's time. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight, you have a place in the history of the Jewish General Hospital. Tonight, you are a part of its future. You are a part of its future. Congratulations and thank you for being a part of the Jewish General Hospital family.